Yes, guys, how is it going? Welcome back to the adventure. Today, we're here. We're at the Bet365 Stadium, even though I call it the Britannia still. We're at the Britannia, and uh, we are here to have a look around Stoke City Football Club. It's an absolutely immaculate day. The weather is absolutely amazing. It feels like I'm back in Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, I don't know the saying between the Stoke City, a cold, windy, wet night in Stoke. I've come here three times and it's been absolutely amazing weather on all three occasions. Uh, on the game against Aston Villa during the preseason, you can check out that video, link is in the description. I came, I got sunburned. Now, I know what you all gonna say in the comments, oh, you're redhead, you sunburned probably in the Arctic. No, it was absolutely boiling. Uh, the phone that I used to record on overheated, that's how hot it was. So I had to put it on the floor in the shade out the way uh, to be able to get any recording done. But we'll go on a lap around the stadium first and uh, we'll see what is popping and check out the Bet365. I have been here a few times, uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to come around on a non-match day and just enjoy the stadium. All right, so we're in the main stand with the car park. Club reception is there. The big main stand, the one with two tiers. Famous Stoke Club store on the main stand. And then it brings you round here to, I think that's the OB compound. And then they've obviously got their floodlights at the keep and then I think this is the stand where they house the away fans that's where I tried to get the stadium tour that office behind there but yeah I think this is where the bus parks okay so we're on the away side of the stadium and we'll just give you a little bit of a Stoke City fact file for people that don't know the club they were founded in 1863 I think they were called Stoke Warriors or something like that something on that sort of line and in 80, uh, 1925 pardon me 1925 they changed to Stoke City which they are still called that today uh, yeah it's an impressive stadium obviously we are currently on the away fan side uh, usually uh, the away fans get half of the stand and then I think on a big game uh, they maybe get full of it but uh, Stoke's attendance obviously since they've been in the championship hasn't been really that good uh, whenever I watch them on the highlights there always seems to be a lot of red empty seats uh, I can't talk because I'm a City fan it just proves how competitive the championship are obviously Stoke got relegated in 2018 the year that we went on uh, I think to get 100 points uh, I think a game here uh, was one of our crucial title winning games. It was either in 2018 or 2019, I'm not too sure, I think it was 2018. I know David Silva scored a couple uh, that time we were here at the Britannia Stadium. Uh, but yeah, since then they've been down and they've, they've never really looked to come back up. I thought they'd uh, give a chance this year and they were riding high at the first half of the season, but then they've dropped and the standard of the championship is honestly ridiculous. And it's only this season that I've understood how competitive that division is. So hopefully Stoke will be back in the Premier League soon. Let's continue to explore the Britannia Stadium. So where I was standing before, I believe that's where the players bus parks on a normal match day and then they go around. Oh, we've got a dead end here. We're going to have to walk all the way around to get to that side of the ground. We are in the, I don't know what this stand's called. I think it's, I'm just going to call it the away stand for the purposes of this. I think honestly, this is where the away fans are segregated. I think they get all of these turnstiles here because back here is a closed gate and that'll take you to the stand that I was in last time uh, when I came to Stoke, but it's closed and padlocked. So I'm gonna have to walk flipping all the way round to get out of here. Because, yeah, this is definitely the away section. They've obviously closed the gate, no segregation whatsoever. And uh, yeah, back I go to go all the way round. <laughs> Thanks Stoke, why not just open it on a non-match day so people can just walk the, walk the way around the stadium? Well, while I walk around, let's have a conversation about Stoke's financial problems then. So obviously they were bought out by Stoke company Bet365 that are actually just down the road here. Big, big betting company. And uh, yeah, I think they're in about 100, 160 million pounds worth of debt. They are in some hefty debt, Stoke City. So Bet365 said they'd waive the debt um, and obviously they're also investing in the club, so flipping heck. Fed365 must be making some chunky money. I actually seen on a news article about how much the CEO of Bet365, Bet365 is a bit mouthful, uh, is actually making. And uh, she actually took a pay cut this year, probably because she wants to invest her money into Stoke City. So fair play to Bet365 with her. Uh, just committing more and more and obviously paying off Stoke's debt. It's not been a good year for them, obviously, a uh, big two two years for them since the, uh, since the pandemic has begun, really. Um, so they're also going to upgrade by the start of next season, 2022-2023, uh, 
uh, season all the training facilities which is actually just down the road in that direction there's i've been in it before actually uh it's a big dome and it's just like astroturf underneath dome it definitely needs a new uh, training facility because I think it's located about 10 miles away from here as well and they're also going to add 8,600 seats to the to the Britannia so where I mean oh actually you can actually look in from here that might be the best view of the stadium that we got it may be in one of the corners but back in the day when Stoke were in the Premier League there were a lot of people that come stood on the hill over here and were able to look in and watch the majority of the match if the ball was in the right corner they wouldn't be able to see but maybe that's where they're going to add uh, since then they have made it a quadrant of the stadium and built the corner i don't see where they're going to add these seats though personally but yeah it's good that bet 365 are long-standing committed to the club and uh, that stoke don't go under and are looking to try and get back to the premier league as soon as possible i mean also while i walk around i'm gonna put out today's tiktok so uh, if you haven't followed my TikTok, make sure to check it out. Link in the description. I post on there every day. And uh, like and comment. And here we've got the legendary goalkeeper, Gordon Banks, holding the Jules Rimet trophy. Obviously the 1966 triumph for us. So close last year in the Euros, but uh, everyone growing up, if you make a good saving goal, you go, what a save, Gordon Banks. What an absolute legend this guy is. Well, we're at the east entrance. This is where I came in and Stoke are actually taking the mech. Can we actually walk around the stadium or is it just going to be gate after gate that's locked? God's sake, we need content. At least we've got to see the Gordon Banks uh, statue, but back we go to the other side. Hopefully we can walk around the flip another way to try and uh, explore around Stoke Stadium. So when they talk about expansion, this is probably where it's going to go. The use to be a place where they could just chit on. I think it was the other side there, but they've built on that since. Uh, obviously here is the place where it's not connected and there's just a giant TV screen there. And uh, well, the, the razors are up to stop us climbing in and to stop people climbing in because it looks like an easy just bounce on that box and, uh, and off you go. But yeah, I think this is the OB broadcast. So if Stoke are playing a game on TV, this is where the broadcasters come and not the other side. I think the other side is uh, the team bus and obviously the away coaches as well. Uh, but yeah, so if we might go, the car park is elevated. So if we go far back, we might be able to get our first look in the stadium. But I think when Bet365 are looking to add eight and a half thousand seats, this is where it's gonna go. All right, so we're in the Bouvenen now, and I believe it's turnstiles 15 and 17 there, and to the upper, that's where the Stoke atmosphere section is. Um, I believe the Bouvenen used to be the full Stoke City uh, Ultra section, but uh, since then, um, I think the atmosphere section has just taken its place on the right-hand side and in the upper. So if you fancy going to a game and being in the Stoke atmosphere section, turnstiles 17 and 15, and I think 16 is hiding around that little bit of the port structure there and it's there. That's where the atmosphere section is. Well, this has got to be one of the greatest statues I've ever seen. Three statues of Sir Stanley Matthews. Wow. It's just at the back of the car park and it probably should be next to the stadium, but because it's such a large display, it's at the back, but it overlooks the booth and end and the stadium itself. What an amazing statue that is. So obviously in the recent times, Stoke have been ever so present in the Premier League and obviously caused my club, Manchester City, a lot of problems uh, coming to the Britannia. We had an awful record, including Peter Crouch scoring one of the goals of his life. Yeah, in terms of Stoke in the Premier League, Ricardo Fuller scored the first ever goal for Stoke uh, in 2008. They were promoted in the 2007-08 season of the Championship and then in the Premier League in 2008 and 9. That was their first ever year. They went to Bolton where we were last time, coincidentally. Ricardo Fuller scored the only goal in that 3-1 loss at the Reebok Stadium. But their first ever game here was won in the 94th minute or something like that to send the stand into absolute raptures. I think it was a Sidibe header. Uh, I think Liam Lawrence also uh, got involved on the goals as well. Um, but yeah, Stoke 3-2 win against Aston Villa, who coincidentally was the game that I was at during pre-season. Uh, so yeah, right, we are at the East Stand finally, but I think when we get to the end of here, we'll have to turn around and go back. 
I don't think there is anything down here actually. I think it's some, I think it's legit just a stand, so I might not even go round fully. But yeah, there's been a lot of lot of history. Obviously, they came up in 2008 and went down in 2018. So the 10 year stay uh, in the Premier League uh, was well, it was a great stay for them, and I hope to see them back very very soon. Well, we're here. We're on the East Stand. There's not really a lot going on. This is just the stand that I sat in when we came against Aston Villa and it's the one that the camera faces. So if you sit on this one, you've got the most chance to be on TV. So, well, well, that's about it, isn't it? So th there isn't really a lot going on at this stadium. We've got to walk all the way around to see absolutely nothing. That's probably why the gates are closed. So we've got another statue here in the Boothen end. It's Mr. John Ritchie. And uh, it's a pretty cool statue. It's like something that you'd see in a gallery, actually. He scored 171 goals in 343 games for Stoke. And uh, that makes him Stoke's top goal scorer of all time. What a legend. I'm definitely going to come back to Stoke. I just need to work out when because they seem to play whenever City play here at the Britannia. And uh, yeah, I definitely need to experience the Stoke City atmosphere section as well. I've been told it's very, very good in the Boothin end on the right hand side. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely come back and experience the atmosphere section at the Britannia. Obviously the surrounding areas, you've got the potteries, factories, and everything. That's why Stoker and nicknamed the Potters. Well, had a, had a word at the club reception. Uh, they said no, uh, I can't even look in. And there's also no cafe upstairs. So I was getting a bit bolt and have raised my expectations to be there's cafes inside stadiums. But they did give me a glass of water, is it? Well, a cup of water, is it is quite hot. And I could do with one. So cheers to Stoke. So I've just finished the lap of the stadium. You're not gonna believe this. There's a door open. Let's go and have a look. Well, the door is shut. That is not a way to get in because there was a member of staff legit behind me while I was talking into the camera and uh, turned around and there he was and he shut the door behind him. So not good. Uh, I think I've blown my opportunity there. But uh, yeah, ah, we'll find another one. Come on, we, we can do this. We don't take L's, but we might have to take one today. Just the gift that keeps on giving. Let's see if we can have a little look. We've done it, guys. We've done it. I'm not going to go further than the traffic cone. Going to respect Stoke, but we have done it. We made it. We've done it, guys. There it is. There's the East Stand, Boothen End, and the Away Stand. We've done it. Yes, we have made it. We have got in. We've got the away stand, east stand, and the booth and end here. We're just having a quick look because we do not want to overstay our welcome. But yeah, pitch looks absolutely immaculate. Can't wait to come for a match here. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash like, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Get in. We made it in. <laughs>